Today on JIC Labs, we're going to do some substituting. We're going to show you how to use the substitute function in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, you're going to see we have some data up on the screen. It's going to look very familiar to our replaced data from last week. You can see the replace function up here in the corner if you would like to see that video. But today we're going to talk about substitute. Substitute equation is like replace, but it looks for a specific character that you tell it to and will replace it with whatever you tell it. So let's jump right into it. So we have our ID numbers and they have a bunch of spaces. We don't want the spaces. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do substitute. And the first thing we do is select our text, our, what we wanna change. And that's gonna be in this case, E3. Then we hit the comma and is our old text. Well, we wanna get rid of spaces. So how do you do spaces in a Microsoft Excel equation? Is you open the quotations, hit the space and close the quotations. You're gonna hit comma and it says, all right, now that we found the spaces, what do we do with them? Well, we quotations with no space, that means we'll get rid of it. If we were to hit comma again, it would say, all right, let's say there's a thousand instances in that cell reference. How many instances do you want us to change? Well, you could say one, two, whatever. Or if you just close out the parentheses, it will do all cases for you. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And you can see, we've replaced all the spaces with no spaces. So let's go ahead and copy this down. And you can see, well, row four, there was no changes because there was no spaces to substitute. But now you can see the data is corrected the way we wanted to see it. Now that we've copied that all down, let's come in here and show you the equation. Again, it's substitute, open parentheses, the cell in which you want to search, the character that you're looking to change, and what you want to substitute it with. That's right here. But let's look at row five. We have, let's edit this equation. And now let's say we only wanna change two instances. So we'll add in that comma and add two at the end. And we're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna look at it and we're gonna say, whoa, what's going on here? It looks like it's only freed up one space for us. Cause we have one here and one here, but we told it two. So what is going on? So first of all, let's show you that equation we've added into two. And let's look at this cell. So we can see as we're scrolling left, ah, we can see before they started entering the data, we have a space before the one. So the substitute equation took care of this first space here, as well as the second space here, leaving us the third space in our original ID number. Always keep that in mind as sometimes your equation is doing exactly what you're telling it to do, but there may be something with your original data that may not do it. Of course, in that case, if you were to use the trim function on that and close that out, if we copied and pasted that values only, you would be able to see when you would go edit it that there is no space in front. So you could potentially trim your data first or the substitute function in this case would have only picked up the first and second spaces because that's what we told it to. This does not only work with spaces, you can add in data as well. Let's look at another example. Let's look at Alice in Wonderland and we're gonna change the equation a little bit. So we're gonna come in here and change that equation a little bit. So we're gonna say in all the spaces we wanna add greater than and less than signs and we're just gonna go ahead and hit enter. And we're not leaving the number of instances because we want to hit them all. And we'll hit enter. And you can see it has changed that equation for us. So Josh, why is this useful? Well, a couple of weeks ago when we were making our drop-down menus, we had spaces in our headers. In the drop-down menus, sometimes Excel doesn't allow a space to happen and it's automatically put in a hyphen. So substitute allows you to substitute a space and put in a hyphen or no space or greater than and equal to. So that is a very quick look at the substitute function of Microsoft Excel. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week. Today on JIC Labs, we're gonna show you how to use the substitute function where you can substitute data for other data. Hmm.